probably the worst nuclear accident we've ever had. So, um, Lauren, uh, uh, Lauren, I'm going to get that sooner or later, uh, is, um, uh, I didn't really go over her history. Um, you worked with Lawrence Livermore um, and, and got to know about radiation quite a bit, but actually um, found things that you wanted to um, make public and so became a whistleblower. And, and really it's been a, uh, a um, would, would you say battle? <laughs> it's been a very difficult time in the challenge in terms oh, of getting that Michael. information out. <laughs> When you become a whistleblower in the nuclear establishment, you step over a line that uh, you have no idea what was ever, even on the other side. Yeah. And yes, I have, um, I have uh, had a very, very uh, difficult time with whistleblower retaliation, and any other whistleblower would tell you the same thing, but especially it's especially difficult in within the nuclear establishment. Okay, this is a, a um, she was here in 2007 helping um, people get educated about the use of depleted uranium uh, munitions um, on the Big Island and also uh, in, around um, here in, in Honolulu, uh, Pearl Harbor. So there is definitely uh, exposure that's high to radioactivity that we're really not aware of. Um, she was recognized um, by, you know, explain this to me. This was a big surprise. Um, I worked for three months in Hawaii to get depleted uranium bills in the legislature. And I said to General Lee, who was brought out of retirement just to deal with me, I said, General Lee, I am going to get you. And I did. <laughs> and, <laughs> and in recognition of the work that I did, the highest priest of the uh, Hawaiian priesthood met for a week in a room and awarded me and Major Doug Rocky and Yale lawyer Alfred Weber a, a tremendous honor. They claimed us for the sovereign nation of Hawaii uh, in recognition of the great work that we had done on behalf of Hawaiians. So the three of us are actually citizens of the sovereign nation of Hawaii, and I can't wait to get my passport. <laughs> okay. So anyway, in terms of... Um uh, sort of exposing information, you helped to uh, show that Livermore was um, measuring global radiation levels and that the, the radiation in the Bay Area, uh, uh, interestingly enough, on the inner bay was higher than the outer bay because of the rainfall on the mountains and the runoff. Was that correct? That's correct. Uh, some of it was from bomb testing that rained out in the high, very high Sierra Mountains on the east side of California, they go north-south. Mm -hmm. And also there was a nuclear power plant that was operating in Sacramento at the base of those mountains. And 95% of those emissions ended up in those mountains. And that is the water supply for Northern California. Wow. So it was washing out of the mountains into San Francisco Bay and I wanted to know why uh, Marin County, which is just north of San Francisco, had the highest breast cancer in the United States. And I accidentally found a paper that the Lawrence Livermore Lab had published indicating, reporting that they had been measuring the radiation running off into the bay, and they followed it out through the Golden Gate and all the way down to the tip of Baja. So that was a great discovery about the effects of fission products and also uranium on a living population. So I started mapping diseases, and I suddenly realized you can determine the cause of diseases by uh, the environment. Right. And this so we, we had this of uh, pancreatic cancer. We saw the one 
that was related to diabetes, but that's also followed by a slide that you have of pancreatic cancer. In and Japanese males, 1965, mm -hmm. no, 19, uh, 40 65 to 65 to, to, to 85. Is that right? Uh, is 40 that? to 65. 40 to 45 to 65. And that is a 12-fold increase in pancreatic cancer death wow. in Japanese males. And on either side of the graph, you can see uh, the, the nuclear bomb tests done by Russia, UK, and the US are also indicated. This is a uh, figure from Dr. Ernest Sternglass. Okay. Now, what I did was I got the cancer rates in Hawaii in 1963, and I wanted to compare them to the cancer rates in England, Cumbria, England, 1850 to 1860. So we're talking so, about pre-nuclear age and then post-nuclear age and how it's affected yes. diseases. Yes. So let's look at this one, Hawaii 1963 cancer rates. 60% uh, of the cancer rates are the di in the digestive system and the respiratory system, which indicates those are pathway cancers. And that is caused by inhaling and ingesting contaminated air in food and water. And so lung cancer in Cumbria, England, before any man-made radiation was released, was very low. It was 0.17% of over 5,000 cancers that record, were recorded there in 10 years. Right. And in Hawaii, it increased to 17% of the cancers, and that is a tremendous increase of over 10,000%. Wow. Um, and and then if you look at other interesting uh, uh, increases, dramatic increases are pancreatic cancer, which was 0.15% in England in 1850 to 60, but it increased to 5.8% in Hawaii by 1963. So pancreatic cancer was, was 0.15 here in, in England, and then yes. in, uh, on this cancer in 63, it was 5.8%, so tremendous increase. Yes, and, and that's almost a 4,000% increase. Mm -hmm. um, prostate cancer was 0.83% in England, 1850 to 1860, but it increased to 3.6% in Hawaii by 1963, and that is a 440% increase. Um, another very dramatic increase was lymphatic cancer, 0.92% in England prior to man-made radiation being released, and it increased to 12.7% in Hawaii by 1963. That was a 1,380% increase. Now, the reason is that radioactive particles, these nanoparticles, very tiny particles, that are arriving in North America and Hawaii right now are carried in the cholesterol and the lipids uh, throughout the body and into the lymph glands and into every single part of the body, even inside the bones, inside the most intimate parts of the cell. And uh, that is why cholesterol has been blamed for poor health. I mean, it's impossible for us to live without it. It's part of our bodies and, and has evolved uh, as a very necessary component. But what the medical profession is not saying is that it's carrying the radiation in it, and that's why it has a bad name. Okay. I was actually, I was um, going, oh, this is the slide I was looking for, that um, yes. the radiation affects all these different uh, disease processes or, you know, makes it worse by the fact that there is radioactivity causing damage to the cells and th these disease processes can get accelerated. Yes, I'd like to read uh, some of these diseases. Um, arterial sclerosis, hypertension, diabetes, blood illnesses, 
uh, chronic inflammatory diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, lung damage and asthma, cystic fibrosis, cancer, um, disorders of the nervous system, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, Hodgkin's disease, um, Alzheimer's disease, uh, uh, other neurodegenerative diseases like Down syndrome, and multiple sclerosis, Huntington's, Friedrich's, Tardive, dyskinesia, prion diseases, and it also damages the immune system and promotes HIV infection and mycopla mycoplasma. So um, these are diseases related to free radicals, and it's from a book called Free Radicals in Biology and Medicine by Oxford University Press. And this is a two-inch thick book. It's in the fourth edition now, and it's a very, very excellent uh, book for medical people, but also uh, just lay people can understand it too. Okay, now we've got now, just a, a couple minutes for this show. Now, because um, this show has, I mean, the information is, is quite wide-ranging, um, we're going to do this in two parts. So. Um, we're going to just do a few more topics here and then wind up. Again, we have less than two minutes. Um, but I, um, I would encourage you to tune in to the next show, and I'll probably schedule these um, alternately so you can see one and then the other. Um, be sure and also to tune in. You can Google once a show is broadcast. You can Google um, Olelo Net. Um, and which is a online service that Olelo has where you can actually see the shows um, online. You can Google again if you see the slide on the top of this slide. Um, you can Google Olelo Net On Demand right here and then search for Deadly Rain. Um, so this Olelo Net On Demand, will, will br when you search for the show, it will come up and you can see these shows uh, up to four months after the time it's been um, discussed. In any case, um, we've just actually now got just a minute left. Um, the, the last slide that I was on was related to um, the uh, Iraq war and, and this was related to depleted uranium, the use of depleted uranium and the problems created uh, not only for veterans coming back but you know all the people who live in those countries these are things that will go on for many years. Um, All the bombing and gutter, guttery ranges in Hawaii are contaminated with depleted uranium, so there must be a lot of Gulf War syndrome in the Hawaiian population. And Kaha Olave is the most contaminated place in Hawaii. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. Thank you, uh, Lorraine. Um, we will have you on the next show, and I appreciate um, the help of the people at Palolo Alelo. Aloha. Yes, thank you.